what's up? This is your boy Big Man. You already know what it is, man. So let's get right to it. Okay, so today we're going to be talking about Spot Em, Got Em. And we're going to be talking about King Yella. Now, both of these rappers are from different places, man. King Yella, he's from Chicago. He was a Chicago drill artist for a while. I mean, he was even in the mix with Chief Keef and them when they were blowing up back in the day. Well, Spot Em, Got Em did something that King Yella did not like, man. Now, King Yella is not shy to go on social media, even though he's currently incarcerated, man. Now, he went to social media recently to let people know that he's going to be home soon and to diss Spot Em Got Em, man. So it's looking kind of crazy right now. Now, you might be asking, what did Spot Em Got Em do? Well, he jumped on the trend of dissing people's dead ops that he might not even know. And King Yella took that mess personal because this is somebody from his hometown of Chicago, and he ain't going for that for what he said. Now, before I get to the specifics, do me a favor. Make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. And man, let's get it. Okay, now that we got that out of the way, let's talk about this Spot Em Got Em and King Yeller situation, man. Now, Spot Em Got Em, for those of you who don't know, is a Jacksonville rapper. And he blew up big time with his hit song, Beatbox, man. And Beatbox 2. And Beatbox Remix, man. They were doing so many remixes to Beatbox, I couldn't keep up. But Spot Em Got Em, I'm pretty sure he was the one who benefited from all of that. Because as soon as the Junebug Challenge started taking off, his hit song started taking off. And he hasn't looked back since. Now, he's one of the most well-known rappers from Jacksonville. Just based on the fact of that single going viral and hitting the charts. Now, Spot Em Got Em has had a pretty good time in the rap game even though he's had hiccups here and there. He had people from his hometown of Jacksonville who just don't like him, who have gone on social media and dissed him on several occasions. Those being, you know, cats out of ATK and mess with Young and Ace, man. There's a divide there in Jacksonville, and by now, everybody should understand who's on which side. Now, Spot Em Got Em, this time, made somebody from Chicago mad at him. And you would be like, what in the world could he have done? Well, he did something that a lot of rappers were doing and they've stopped doing since, man. Dissing people's dead ops that they don't have anything to do with. Now, a video surfaced of Spot Em Got Em freestyling over a beat and, you know, he's just catching the flow. And on the opening part of his flow, he talks about smoking on Tuca. Now, for those of you who don't know or been living under a rock lately, Tuca was a teenage, man, he was a teenager who ended up losing his life in Chicago, man. It was a tragic situation. It wasn't nothing cool about it. And ain't nothing been cool about people dissing, it, dissing them since. You know what I mean? Even the folks who are directly, you know, connected with that or, or as far as dissing, not as far as the shooting or whatnot, have stopped dissing Tuca. So for this to come up and for one of Tuca's homeboys and FBG Ducks homeboys to see this, he got upset. And that homeboy I'm talking about is none other than King Yella. He wasn't feeling this at all. So he took to social media and said a few things of his own. He said this. In the first post, King Yeller said this. He said, I'm going to see y'all real soon. Put y'all 3D glasses on, 100. Now, I'm not sure if this was related to that situation or not. But this came right before he started dissing. And it looks like he's anticipating getting free from jail, man. That's what that sounds like. And in the next post, he said some more. And this next post, this is what he said, man. And he was being more direct and talking about this situation. He said this. He said, when y'all see me go in these industry lanes, just fall back. It's a reason for everything. Just letting people know that basically he's going to be going at these industry lanes. So fall back and don't think that he's wilding out. Then he has that mad emoji with his mouth uh, taped up. And it basically says the industry. So you know what he means there. He says, forget the industry. That's the PG version, right? And then he says, it's the year of the real. How cats smoking somebody they never had beef with unless they clout chasing with the hum emoji. Now, you know, he's talking about the, the video circulating out there with Spot Em Got Em dissing Tuca. Hey, what's up? This your boy, Big Man, and I know you're enjoying this video, but make sure you go and you follow me on social media platforms like Instagram, and also go to my Twitter page and make sure you hit that follow button there so you can get the latest and greatest updates of when I'm dropping my videos. And man, don't forget to hit that like button, hit that like button, hit that like button so we can spread this video around, and we're trying to get 2,000 likes, so run them likes up. All right. 
very next post, he says this, man. He's basically playing the video of Spot Him, Got Him, dissing Tuka. And at the top, it says RIP Tuka. Then it's a quote from whoever posted this originally, this video. And I can't play the video because I don't know about the beat or whatever, you know, copyright and all that stuff. But man, he basically wanted to show people that he wasn't just flying off the handle and going at Spot Him, Got Him for no reason. He wanted the proof to be there. So with that, he said this right here, man. Now, in this post, man, King Yellow goes straight at Spot Him Got Him's head top, man. He says this. He says, at Spot Him Got Him, come to Chicago and perform that devil emoji, lame boy. Get your clout back by dropping another hit. Not this way. You look goofy and you are op emoji rider. You know what I mean? So basically letting it be known that, man, he is riding the ops jock trying to impress people by dropping that freestyle. Now, what's crazy is you don't know when Spot Him Got Him made that freestyle. And it might have been before everybody said, hey, man, we're going to stop dissing Tuka. We're going to stop dissing all these dead dudes who died in Chicago and all this stuff that we're not affiliated with. Now, remember, when FBG Duck was alive, he had constant run-ins with other rappers who were talking about Tuka or whatnot or talking about anybody who's one of his fallen homeboys and just using it as a funny thing to say in a song. And he wasn't afraid of addressing this head on either, man. He went at Young M.A., remember? And he, she apologized. She said she didn't know what that meant or that it, it had that meaning. And he went at Lil Pump. Now, Lil Pump never apologized, but, man, they were never in the same circle, and FBG Duck passed away before any of that could get squashed. So you never know where that would have went, right? Well, it seems like King Yella has taken up to, you know, take that role on. Because to be honest, man, this trend of dissing the dead ops and all that stuff, it's slowly going to go away. Watch. Because everybody has slowed up. Even though people throw a little Dirk's name in there or whatnot and say that he's dissing people, he never says their names directly ever anymore. You know what I mean? And when you look and you see what you would call it, you know, the Jacksonville scene, you see that they're on that heavy. Like, they really on that stuff heavy. So, they might not be changing as quickly, but I think this is a trend that might end sometime soon. Now, King Yella has every right to be mad, and he has every right to say something to Spot Him Got Him, but Spot Him Got Him, I don't know if this is on his radar, because he hasn't responded back or said anything yet. And possibly, he's going to respond and, you know, maybe clear up what he was saying. Because, like I said, we do not know when he made this video. And if it was just at a time where people thought that was a reference for something else, you know what I mean? Now, I'm shooting him a lot of bail right there, but man, you got to leave that open and give somebody an opportunity to clear it up. But it looks like King Yella is ready to go at these industry cats and he can't wait to get home. Now, with that, just been, what do you guys think? Do you think that King Yella is over-exaggerating? Do you think that he's clout chasing? Or do you think that Spot'em got him was tripping and clout chasing when he mentioned his homeboy's name in that song? Now, with that, this has been your boy, Big Man. Do me a favor. Make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. And make sure you hit that notification bell so that way you get a notification every time I drop this hot content. And we out of here. Peace.